Hello there. In this short uh, video, I'm going to be showing you how you can remove the uh, fisheye type lens distortion from your still photos taken with your DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Um, but it's specifically for people who um, either don't want to use uh, a commercial product like uh, Adobe Photoshop um, or who, like me, run on a Linux system and, and that's not available to you. So this is going to show you a, um, a fairly quick and dirty way of, of straightening out that, that, that fisheye effect um, using a piece of software called the GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP for short. Uh, this will be running on GIMP 2.6, but whatever flavor works for your particular setup. Um, so let's have a look how that works. So here's an image I've chosen um, from my Phantom 2 Vision because it, we've, we've got what for most people should be a nice straight horizon line. I actually quite like this effect. I think it gives uh, a sense of even more increased height. It gives that sort of curvature of the earth, but I know a lot of people would like to have a, uh, a, a properly straightened horizon. Um, so let's see if we can, uh, if we can sort that out. You'll see we've got um, a very obvious barrel shape curve to that horizon and down here as well. I'm pretty sure that tractor didn't take that kind of uh, tight turn. So how do we get rid of this? Well, up here you'll see um, the filters menu. If you drop that down, choose distorts and then go down to lens distortion. This is what you want. And then you'll see we have, uh, here's a little preview picture and we have several options all set to zero. And you'll notice they go both ways, positive and negative. So as well as adding fake lens distortion, we can use this to take it away. And in the main one, put in the value minus 55 and hit enter. And pretty much from the preview, you'll see that's a pretty good rough and ready job of doing it. Let's take it out to show again. You can see what it's done. It's pulled that horizon line. And it's also, if you look at the bottom, do it again. It's straightened out that tractor's little track there. If we zoom in, we can go to the edge. And you can see that there is, you see there, there's an upturn to the horizon. So it's not quite right, but we can use the edge value here. And I find somewhere between 10 and 12. Seems to work pretty well. Let's make it a nice round 10. And you can see in that preview that it's straightened out both the edges on both sides. And that's I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's have a look down the bottom. We've got straight-ish tracks. Now you can mess around with some of these other settings and tweak and do all sorts of things, but I'm gonna show you how it actually works now, what, what it's doing. Let's, let's take the zoom out and you can see how it's actually bending the sides to get the, the straight lines. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lose some of your image through cropping, other, because obviously we don't wanna see those bends in the side. So we'll wait now for it to apply. And if you look down here at this fence line, for example, um, you'll be able to see what level of cropping you get on all four corners. Um, now, because it's quite a wide field of view, you know, you should be okay. But if this is going to be a problem for you, then you're going to either have to take photos with that in mind or you're going to have to, uh, you know, have a different method. But here's the finished one. You can see how we've lost that fence line, but we have a nice, much straighter horizon, much more natural curve of the um, tractor tracks at the bottom. And that's pretty good. Let's, um, let's just undo do that and have a quick comparison before and after view. So that's what you're losing. If you look at the corners, you can see the cropping at the bottom more easily. It pulls everything in. So you are losing that, that kind of hedge line on the right hand side. But again, if you look at the horizon, that's the, um, that's the key thing. And that gives you a much more natural straight line. Anyway, if you're an expert on GIMP, I apologize for this. Um, and there are probably lots of different methods of doing it and, and more ways that you could tweak um, and, and change the settings. But for a very quick fix, especially if it's not for a, you know, if this is just for casual use for emailing quickly to somebody or sticking up on your website, I think um, as, a, as a pretty quick method to remove that sort of fisheye look, um, it gives a, a pretty good result. I hope this has helped some of you and thanks very much for watching.